Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 match between Andre and his Chorfs and Kinroth and his High Elves. Um, oh. In the booth with me is Dimmy G and Purple Chest. Hello. Hello Jimmy. Oh, go on PC. I, that's all I wanted to say, Dimmy, was hello. <laughs> well, all I wanted to say is uh, Andre's ball carrier, who's just been stunned off the uh, kickoff event, is in my dream team, and his claw palmer is in my dream team. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm quite excited for this one. Like, I, I think Andre is one of the favourites for the whole tournament, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Mm. He's got a lovely ball, hasn't he, there? Strength 5. Do you think it's interesting he's gone chevrons? I think it's really interesting that he's gone chevrons because I think by Andre going chevrons, uh, he thinks Kimmeroff wants a quick saw. Mm. And uh, which makes me think Andre thinks Kimmeroff isn't as good as he might be. Well, I think Kinroth, you know, would take a quick score. Wouldn't necessarily go for it, but would take it because the problem that you've got with like. High elves versus good teams, <laughs> or like elves versus good teams, like you know, or just teams that you you're worse at than is scoring at all, right? Like uh, if you remember, there was a Nurgle versus human team, uh, human game. I think it was Nurgle versus humans, and it was just so desperate for the humans, and it's like you've just got to score at all, right? It's like it's scoring at all is the main concern. So in that case, scoring in two is uh, is is a totally valid thing to do. So. Maybe but some, sometimes the yeah. worst thing you can do in Blood Bowl is stop your opponent scoring. <laughs> like, yes, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure either would be unhappy if it happened, as you say, Dimmy. Uh, I, I absolutely agree, both with his assessment and Dimmy's and yours, Jim. I do think uh, he needed to go chevrons here and defend the width. I do think the High Elves would have pushed for an early score, but if they could stall up at the far end of the pitch for two or three turns, they happily will. I think the High Elves need to lay, play into what they've got here, which is strength, which is eight, armor eight. And uh, it, you want to try and win like all elves. If you can win by half time, the situation is much easier. A two turn score here with the whiz in hand, um, I think, is a great position to be in. The Chorf's under a little bit of pressure under time to try and get that score done. Uh, might create a hole that the wizard can get in, and if you're 2 0 at half time, the game's over. So that would be my plan as the high elves, particularly now that I've completely destroyed this flank. I'd be using that and getting the score done. As I said, if I could stall and go in on turn four, that'd be ideal. I'd go in on turn three if I have to, and turn two isn't the end of the world. Yeah. The problem is this really super deep kick, and then the, yeah. the best relay being stunned. But obviously, amazing having these two. You like, you really want to take advantage of these two getting stunned if you can. But the thing is, with elves, they're they're sort of all quite reasonable at moving the ball about. So yes, you've got better pieces that you'd love to be doing it with. But if needs be, you can throw it to the strength floor and he can go and hand off, or you can hand off to the wrestler and he can go and throw it. I mean, there's a thousand ways the ball moves around, depending what the uh, what the chorfs leave you. Mm. What about 70%, Gary? Because I said good players. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's obviously there's the Dakar as well. Yeah, yeah, the Dakar Dakar is a is a good idea. Uh, no one asked me, Garyon, so I kept quiet. I think, as usual, I think my name is. It's very flattering. It is often mentioned in company and conversations. It doesn't deserve to be in. I enjoy the fact that it's mentioned. I think it should fairly quickly then be dismissed. So, I would, you know, if asked, do I think I'm better than Jimmy with dwarves? No, I think we're about the same, and that's probably my best race. The advantage I have over Jimmy is that I have a better mental game, uh, whereas often he does not, particularly against me. He doesn't think he can beat me because he can't. And, and <laughs> Jimmy doesn't have any pretend fish either. I'm not doing any pretend fish, no. I mean, the advantage is PC's got massive experience with dwarves, right? So. Yeah. Um, and uh, do I think Mir Artemis is better? <laughs> Probably Artemis. Um, Whoa! I wouldn't have rolled dubskulls there. No, that was a bad decision. He also sort of wants it more than me. That makes mm. the relay terrifying. Mm. Doesn't it? And to the point where he might not even do it. He might withdraw and duck and now attempt to. I, I like. Oh yeah, Gary. I mean, I, I like, like I said, that's, my view is my view, and I would tell you if it was different. I I don't care. As you, you're absolutely right. Um, but I suspect I am, if anything, one of the few coaches that is slightly overrated by people. I think Garyon cares about the fact that Tren is better than him. <laughs> <laughs> he might do, yeah. 
Now this is interesting. What? Yeah, this is half and half. I like all or none. Oof. Oof indeed. Oof indeed. Oh, he's failed to pick up! Doesn't go in the crowd. Oh boy, howdy. Yeah. Flip me, guys. Flip me. Well, there's no bull back pressure, so he had no real urgency to pick the ball up, so it's fine. But still, as you said, Jim, the bounce out there was horrific. Well, I've got Andre's claw palmer, and he's just about to claw palm something, so hopefully we see a Kaz here, guys. He's about to claw palm the best player, potentially. What, the block lino? No. Oh, my God, yeah, he can. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're not bad at Blood Bowl, Jim, are you? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I'd be trying to engineer that hit if I could. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then he, he, I guess you might have to GFI or try and power this guy. If I only stood him up. But then is the is the there's got to be some surfs here as well. Like and does he does he like go for the surfs over the claw palm and the catcher? Like this is mm. this is like too many options. Do you know yeah, what I mean? It's like oh my surf, god, yeah. this is so amazing. Instant He's going surf. for the surf. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, I mean it was very tempting. The thing is, there's. I was just working out. I thought I had at least three surfs that round. If yeah, I yeah, I thought there was more without than needing one. pals as well. Mostly with just pushes. Yeah, um, I thought there but was that more. one is so important that it's. Um, but then when Jimmy pointed out the claw palm sure. and the catcher, I think I might take yeah. the claw palm and the catcher because my god, that is a really nice piece to claw palm. Uh, yeah, and but it's, it's, it's it's not a guaranteed removal though. That's the no, thing. No, it's true, it? and it's but, good for him scoring. It's good for him scoring, though, isn't it? But yeah, I mean, I didn't realize how. Uh... Yeah, look how, at all these lovely angles. Look where he could have pushed things around and shoved multiple things on the edge. You genuinely could, I think, have served three to four without necessarily needing yeah, to Yeah, I think as soon as he rolled that double skulls, he should have been running everyone back and going, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of panic after that re-roll, yeah. Yeah, because if you're not going through with the plan to, to score quick, then you have you just need to secure somewhere that isn't right on the edge with loads of chores. <laughs> <up in your laughs> in instant death, yeah, BC, <laughs> I yeah. agree. Yeah. Yeah. God, you're good at blood bowl. <laughs> I am. I mean, I'm just looking at the field from a slightly wider view, Div. It's what's allowing me to see huge areas of green open space without killer death teams in it. <laughs> and yet... All the elves over in one little pocket with all the killer chorfs right in their face. Yeah. And I'm thinking that's probably not a great shape to be in. That's mm. that's what's given me the insight. <laughs> I love the way Jim's mouse was like hovering over the <laughs> huge green field that you were mentioning there, PC. <laughs> Just in case the viewers at home could have quite seen it. Work it out yourselves, <laughs> everybody. Illustrating the point. <laughs> 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 you know what I was talking about? How the yeah. you know one of the great ways to fight against uh, strong teams is to make the game go all across the field. The yeah. elves singularly failing to do that here. They've got these, a bit of left. These, but... these nine squares are quite dangerous, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they are. They? Yeah, <laughs> they're the ones I'd be trying to avoid right now. <laughs> like my fish avoiding you. Um, oh, wow. So as we can see, lots of the pushing did end up with a lot of you know elves still at risk, still on the edge. Mm. But I do think we could have gone for a slightly more ambitious surfing policy, though. I mean, yeah, he's he's screwed, like, because the balls... Uh, like, can he can he hand off to the... Oh, uh... well, that's vicious, look. No, the hold on, he hold on. move around, the sidestep gets stunned, so you're not even going to get that one out into the backfield and give you can some... He, can he hand off to the catcher and hit the sideline, and can the ball centaurs hit him? Like, on the sideline, mm. on the far left sideline. The bulls you couldn't. Get, no, the bulls stop two there. spaces short. Both of them. Yeah, yeah, you can get clear. But it's there's. Um, you see that it's stand the only firm play. It's the or only mighty chorf in the centre, just to the slight left of the centre. Mate, he's, he's got to do the that. Four can plus. hit anywhere. He's got to do the four plus. Ah, oh, okay. Wow. He's already on oh the one. Oh my God. There's his reroll before he picks the ball up again. Mm. For a blitz that. I'm not sure it's going to give him enough. I mean, I suppose three gives you a pocket up at this left side, but it's not, again, it's not getting away from the problem. It's just moving the problems. Oh, okay. now, oh yeah, now it's getting away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Right, yeah. that's good. Finally, something out into another part of the field. And he tags him. So 
So he could he could have he, if he had, he could have got totally safe. I I would have been tempted to go for a four plus handoff honestly. Or he and can keep the ball deep now. He can keep the ball deep. Can he? He doesn't he, need. To, yeah, he, he doesn't I mean, need. In the end zone. Yeah, that's in, cool. in the end zone, he can still get tagged by the 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 chorf and hit by the hobgoblin. So it's a risk. Yeah, it's not great. So it? he's still going through with the plan to run away, which I like. Right, it's a big ballsy play, but it had to get done. Yeah. No cover on any of that. That was uh, the whole first. GFI, um, yeah, one GFI. Yeah. The yeah, whole that was catching a blitzer, so 2 plus, play. 2 plus, but without cover. GFI play. without cover. And then the next dice is a 1. <laughs> hey. On as a 2, Genius. as a 3 plus. Yeah, genius play from Kim off there. Yeah, it was yeah, great. nicely it was great. done. Yeah, great, great response to get out there. And most importantly to me, not to try and you know stall in the end zone or some other ludicrous plan when your reroll went. There, the only way forwards was to keep on with the plan. Yeah. And just trust the elves and hope that you can do those two pluses. Can he can he <laughs> can he claw upon the, the one turner? One, two, three, four. No. He, the, yeah, he can, he can, he can. Yeah, he can. yeah. yeah I a hundred percent do these GFIs. Really keen eyes he had to spot the open field, yeah. <laughs> I a hundred percent claw upon this catcher. I did mention the large areas of open green space. Nice mm -hmm. to see that they used them. I mean, into the wild like, green beyond yeah, yes, but did. To, be, to be fair, PC, you are a professional caster, so like, you know. <laughs> but Ram going for all these surfs, maybe this guy should have, uh, you know, just been freed. You know, maybe over blocking there, right, with this this massacre in the corner. If this if this bull centre had been back instead, you know, standing yeah. in Dio's face, he would have this this option would have been taken away completely. Yes, I mean, I like that he piled in and tried to use his advantage, but he tried to overuse it, didn't he, Jim? As you said, that one, perhaps the tackle bull alone, because of its break tackleness and its plus strength, is enough sent sat on the central file to cover the entire of the backfield. It can get anywhere, it can hit anything, and it can expect to take it down. It's a beautiful piece against elves. Yeah. A factory in space. <laughs> wow. Could you have yeah, I mean, mad kills. That's a good point. I, there may. I didn't look hard enough whether there was a chain oh. that pushed the tackle ball in place. No, I didn't. But also, he had this lovely pom on the one one turn. And oh! If he killed that, <laughs> but still, you know, suffered a, t a touchdown on turn three, I think he'd say that's fine. Oh! Just remember, the elves have to score here. They just don't have a stall out option. No, they have. I mean, to okay, they do. They, they could, could technically, they could drop back, couldn't they? They could have gone to the other side. They could have switched to the other side potentially. Uh, what through the strength for hobgoblin? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose there is a whole pack of elves there. Yeah, there was. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, like you know, look at this. There's five players there, right? In that, in that yeah. little. <laughs> In that little cluster that he made, they were all down, but they got all two plus out. And I, I mean, I think it was better to score. You know, don't yeah, get me wrong. He's, he's used two rerolls. At least now he gets the score on the board. Like out of a hundred yeah, percent scored. I, I mean, now unfortunately we did score sort of when I would have liked to have done. Turn four is ideal. Yeah. You know, but or five turns for the chorfs is very very tight unless they get a beautiful kick. Uh, a touchback onto one of the bulls, and obviously it isn't. But outside of that, it's it's tight. The chorfs do not provide a lot of support and cover, and the hobgobs will just get slaughtered if they go forwards too quickly without help. And you've got that whiz, but the one reroll, Jim. I mean, perhaps at this point you you try and just wall up and stop them and use the whiz in over to end second half. Nah, maybe. maybe. Nah, you just got to play it by ear, haven't you? you just got to. Yeah, I mean, see if the opportunity comes, but. If I'd had three rerolls, I'd be thinking very aggressively right now. With one, I'm thinking, let's see what happens. Hello, Fimir. He has a question for Dimmy. What's the name of Kinroth's team? I elves. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah. Las flechas de la mor. Did you get my? Uh, did you yet. get my gift sub, Fimir? I gifted you. Specifically. Mm. Wow. Yeah, no worries, man. I'm a big fan of your work. Action and food action. 
Glorious. Uh, yes, I mean, amazingly, everyone's still alive. All the elves, all the hobgoblins, there's been no damage at all. Yeah, no. that's, that's pretty nice. I mean, it's only four turns, but it's still pretty... Uh, well, three turns. The Chaucer have only had three turns, so... But it's still nice to have not taken anything for the high elves, yeah. Apoth's still dry. Yeah. I thought the block commentating was dicky. <laughs> this is Dimmy. <laughs> Misspeak once. He's <laughs> been banned. Uh, I'm ready to care. Uh, the high elves, as well as a wizard, have a babe, and also have a plus one on the fate. Mm -hmm. They are still carrying an apothecary, as are, of course, the chaos dwarves. I just missed. Three rolls, you can see for yourselves, you lazy buggers. <laughs> oh, war boss! Thank you very much for the raid. You are joining us at a very in exciting moment. Um, <laughs> Yeah. We we've got two minutes of setup. I think Andre's <laughs> gone for a piss. Yeah, and he still hasn't put a guy here, so this is a very exposed to a blitz right now. Hang on, can Jim, can you do me a favour and hover over the strength hobgoblin for me? <laughs> yeah. There you go. What do you want to know, Timmy? His name. His name. For yeah, the... yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in my dream team. For the dream team. <laughs> <laughs> He's in my dream team. So is the claw bomber. I hope you get some Kazes here. Ooh. What a kick. Oh my god, Johnny Wilkinson, eat your heart out. And now it looks yeah. great that he that he didn't defend against the Blitz properly. <laughs> I mean what? how do you do like do you, do you, okay. Yeah, I put the stand firmer one to the right and other than that I'm quite happy with it. No, this guy up here. This if this guy goes here then he can't break through because he he could have just powered that stand firm and come through here, right? Yeah, but the stand firm could have been one to the right because he's not gonna go all the way round. Yes, no, he goes through it. He goes through it, did he? But you're right. I mean if you are gonna against a blitz, if you're gonna rob a side, that is the corner to do it against an offset defence. Because that's where the elves will have further to go to exploit around that edge. And it has to be like a perfect kick as well. But it could have so been. It's, it's, it just could have been. It could have been a kick to here and then yeah. you're fucked. Yeah, then Whereas you do have a huge If you put problem. that guy, then you're not. So, like, you just no. put that guy there. Well, it, you can still have the same problems, but they are less. The yeah. elves have more work to do to, to make it difficult. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, Jimmy's right, but on the other hand, if you are going to rob someone out of that front to have weirdly a second hobgoblin in the midfield which won't really help the first hobgoblin much yeah and the other then thing is is if the, blitz, the corner to do it if yeah. the blitz doesn't happen and then you snake the pick up then you've got no one near the ball carrier to help that's well, the you other can pull, pull the yeah, pull, you, pull back, yeah you instantly pull back if it isn't the blitz you pull three back from there to the midfield with a deep kick like this mm. because if i'm the elves this is still going on for me now so i was negative when i'm down to one reroll. i'm now positive again because of the deep kick I've got the fast pieces, particularly as the bulls are going back to help out. I'm swamping this bull carrier, even if it picks up. Yeah. With everything I've got, I'm trying to find a hole through, and everything's going that way. And then other things are going slightly more dangerous routes towards the end. Yeah. I'll still probably have three or four elves in front of their drive, but if I can get everything else through, it's coming. There is I've still no got a weird. I've got, I've got four elves between this line of scrimmage and the ball and a wizard. Yeah, but how, how do you get through? How do you get through? Well, um, down through here. There's there's no there's no guard on the yeah. high elves. But all you can you've just got to blitz this guy, and then you can yeah. you can dodge through here. Cause there's no tackle. Like it's not great, right? It's yeah, not great. Yeah, that, exactly. That chorf to the top right of where we're looking, and then you dodge past the hobgoblin or the bull, depending who it is, with all the dodge pieces. You've got two one in nines, but Amazons do those all day. And if you get two pieces through, you're probably golden. If you get four pieces through, it's almost certain that you get two now. Plus one or two can go around that left side that we said was short, and there it goes. And at move eight, they count as involved in the attack on the ball next turn from there. Yeah, no, he probably so needs to handle. Char still needs to do things about that. It didn't need. If you're going to hit with the strength piece, you didn't need the assist first. But never mind. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but it's classy. It's classy because. Uh, <laughs> Now that guard chorf is tied up on the sideline. Yeah, but I wanted that strength four to tie up the bull. Yeah, that's the thing, right? That that strength four could have been used somewhere else. Yeah. Or to tie up a chorf that can't even hit, let alone run away. 
So just if I put the assist in, I'd have used it. Yeah, this guy could have done the blitz. This guy could have done the blitz, and then you've got this guy able to do something better. But Dodge is popped, so he could give up. And it has. The other one through. Yeah, exactly. Stay there. It's not on a, a tackle piece. It's a piece that might be relevant to the defence, so stay there. Bring someone else through. And he does. That's beautiful play. That's two really good decisions from Kinroth. The first one to go through with the desperate plan to score, and the second one to stop that dodge through and not waste his one reroll, but just try and get as many in place as he can. Even tanking that hit from the stand firm. Again, just trying to stop what pieces he can from getting involved in this shit. This is the big one, though, the catcher. Yeah, yeah, this is the big one. Yeah. This is and the... Like the midfield hog He stacked him. He was, he was going through whatever happened. He was going, yeah, whatever happened, that was going deep. He would do his work. Oh, he's doing the ball to him, for the AV break. He gets it. He gets oh, the oh, this is huge. Oh well, I like that. Actually, Jimmy, I like that. Yeah. You're gonna definitely use it next turn. Why not use it end of turn? Yeah. And as you said, even if it doesn't, what's he gonna do? He's gonna have to throw it. And if it works as it does, then that to me that's two 0 Yeah. Almost. Almost. Has he got No The Claw Pom is in range to Claw Pom the catcher. Oh, yeah, Jimmy. Pom the catcher. Pom the catcher, pick, pick up, up on the DP. No no He's no, you got... don't need to lobby it, you don't need to lobby it. You got the balls who can come all the way around. He can screen this. He's only he's got two pieces that are in range to score. It's the the one turner and the other catcher, the wrestle piece on the front. Yeah, we've, left. Ooh, we've yeah, yeah, these two the other two he's left them. one space short. So if it was if it isn't if the sidestepping one turner goes down, the other one's in range, but one of the other ones would have to get it and throw it. To yeah, them. but you 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 want so to it's them. not quite as yeah. If those could have gone one square more each, but again, that's down to having you know a second reroll, not just the one, isn't it? Yeah, it's not as spicy as it could have been. I would have took the GFI. You you don't want him getting pumped. Yeah, but he's re he's no his reroll wasn't gone, was it? Yeah, he'd have had a double GFI. Oh, he had he got an extra reroll from the kickoff. Okay, so he got an extra reroll from the kickoff. So yeah. So I think you need to put them in and go a bit. Yeah, further. yeah, yeah. He could go one down, one square. Like he's gonna get pumped. And the two up just behind the line of scrimmage are one space short to me because they're not scoring threats. Oh, he's not getting pumped. No, I mean, he's getting three, three died instead. And he wanted to get the ball back there anyway, so kind of two birds with yeah, one stone. Yeah, kind of fine. Oh, and then you tag the wrestle with the pommer, yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Well, I'm not sure I like. I, One, yeah, I'm not sure I like that. Four, five, six, seven, oh, and no nine. armor break. Do you just foul the catcher now? Oof. Do you just foul the catcher I'm now? I'm so fucking obsessed with that. Yeah, yeah, looks, it looks, yeah, like, well, yeah, he looks yeah. like he's definitely going like, to. Try and fucking qualify. Um, with the team, and then uh, try and, and wait for the pickup next turn. I think that's Why the fuck would anyone suicide. That much yeah. No. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's suicide. No. He just. He just yeah, like I said, the other catcher goes into the end zone, mm. and then either the sidestep, either of the two sidestep pieces, just has to get to the ball, pick it up, and throw it to him. Yeah, but oh, okay. Which they do on one go for it, and the catcher gets into the end zone on two go for it. So at the moment, it's this four is, two pluses. Is, oh, is, so he has to yes, yeah, so pick the ball up. Yeah, this is suicide. Yeah, this is suicide. Yeah, because suicide is fouling. Because now you'd lose you. I'm not going to say that because this goes on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, this is the easiest touchdown of your life. Click elf, click end zone. Click elf, click ball. That, click Jim. Uh, Jim, you say that. I just it's, did, yeah. Yeah, but he's still got to roll five two pluses. Oh, he's not. Oh, he's just doing cover, and then he's going to dodge off the tackle. He's adding in a two plus to the whole scene. Oh, he can go one. But then still tackle. Yeah, he's got a dodge or tackle. What the fuck is this? This that's bad. Yeah, yeah. This was yeah. He's adding an extra two plus to the whole sequence. Oh, I don't think scoring. he's seen it. I don't think he's seen it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's maybe just not scoring. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, that's very bad. He should be scoring. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, this covers for the fail state, but at the cost of adding a, a dodgeless dodge. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you you have only added one two plus, and does it cover for fail state? He's got a tackle strength five bull, another chorf, another bull. Oh no! 
Yeah, so he's, he not, he's not going for it. He's not going for it. That was the no, obvious thing when he when he did that. He's going to try and pick it up and, and screen it, isn't it? Yeah. From two oh bullets. My. Oh my which, god. Again, I'm not sure is entirely sensible. Oh my god. Yeah, I think he should have gone for the score. Like, it's 4 2 pluses to score. I think he should have gone for yeah. the score. He might get away with it, but, like, yeah. I have to point out there's a fifth 2 plus, but that one had a uh, re roll on it because it's catch. Ah, oh, yes, get. yeah, good point. good point. Three go for it, a pick up. And then, actually, yeah, five and then. So, three go for it, a pick up, a throw. So five two pluses and then a catch, which has. A oh, he's in range. He's got sprint. Ah, uh, well, so yes, I'm very stupid. That one is in range. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. So this was. I mean, this is kind of a bit harder because it's three. And now they've yeah, got a sure five. feet. Yeah, and yeah five fucking... two pluses. Five two pluses without a re-roll, and the other way was four yeah, two pluses and without and a re-roll, but sure one with a re-roll, and then this gets failure states, but a, a more valuable player, so it's not that far away. It's not that, it's not that different, no, this is, as yes, it's five two pluses. Yeah. Well, no, now now the other blitzer has to dodge out to his left and come all the way around and screen the other side. No, mm -hmm. now you just do the two two pluses. No, 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 you don't, not without the reroll. Yes, you do, because you win the game. Hmm, it's interesting, isn't it? No, I don't. I... I this guy that's a, over, that's over two out of three of being two nil up and winning the game. Yeah, but you're a two, the two, you're, two you're a one. You're a one away from like not like from losing. The, oh my god! Yeah, there you go. And they still don't score. It's fine. No, it's not fine because it's it, fine. Otherwise, he's got to blitz you with the hobo. Like you, you do the. No, yeah, he, blitzes no. he blitzes you with this guy. This guy break tackles in and. and hits yeah, you. yeah, that's fine because you've got sidestep and whatever. Like he's got you tackle. Don't, once you once the reroll's gone, you don't fucking do that, man. Like honestly, I think maybe his one was was maybe even the best. One, two, three. Oh, mate, four, he should have just run the wrestle seven, into the end zone and thrown it with the fucking blood like step up. Like still, the, the... he would have still failed anyway because that was the fourth two plus that failed. So. But like, yeah, once you you don't do that, you don't do that GFI. You just stay there, and then yes. You no, know, I, I think day. I think at least one was the best. At so, least yeah, I. I I couldn't have resisted the second. I'd rather fail going for it than fail not going. Nah. I felt that was a game winner. I think at but least the other, one is correct. Well, well, well the, problem, the problem is, is like now, because like, if he sacks the ball, you can prevent the ball being scattered into the crowd, and then at least it's not 1-1 one, one at half-time. Whereas doing this, now it can be 1-1 one, one at half-time, and then you're truly... F. Yeah, I mean, you've, you've got a point, Dimmy. I, I think, yeah. in general, my rule does apply. That if the plan involves two two pluses, it's still worth going through with it if it wins the game. Your point about the fail state here, you know, you, you've got a point. Uh, I still think there's enough elves back that them scoring is really unlikely. That's my counter to it. I mean, they've still got seven elves defending the line of scrimmage in the middle. It's Andre. He always scores. <laughs> But also, you know, it, you're one in six to fail, and then it's a three and eight to go in the crowd even after you fail. Like so, yeah. I still like one to get away from the break tackle tackle blitz on him. I, I do like one. Well, then you just sidestep to the left, and then what can he do? Well, then it would have been in range of the bull um, going around the outside, Dimmy. On no, a single, no, on a he's single break, break tackle. Dodge. Yeah, but he can't blitz again, can he? And then he can pick it up. But like he's then he's two squares away from his own end zone and he's got three turns to score well, he picks it up with yeah, Johan's Hobgoblin yeah and then who does he give it to like all those AG4 guys up the pitch they're all tagged yeah yeah I don't know man like I, I yeah I just stay there and just go right nah I mean as it happens we've got the brutally worst fail state here yeah exactly yeah. it's, it's easy to say that now isn't it it's he easy to he's 100% right yeah yeah um, but yeah. there's a chance he was right at the time yeah. I mean, Jim's plan of taking one step, my plan of score and win, which, as I said, two out of three times, you've scored and you're 2-0 up. Um, although Dimmy's right about the fail state, so it is one of those yeah. where I'm, I'm really tall between all three of them. Yeah, and there was other players that could, if there was other players that could have come down as well. I, I mean, I'm not saying that it was, it was, I was, I, I think I preferred one GFI to two. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, there might have been another player. That was I even didn't better. like yeah. staying there because the break tackle in, you know, strength five into two tackle zones is so easy. Yeah, but if you could, if you could dodge another elf off, 
on it yeah, to, 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 to cover it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I would have dodged. Like, obviously, I would have failed the dodge because it was off tackle, like with the blodge step uh, blitzer. But I rather would have failed that than failed the GFO. I mean, the thing is, you just like the thing is, you can't. Right, it was a fascinating position. No, yeah, you, yeah, you, it you can't. Interesting. It was interesting, and obviously, now and it's, in general, it's too many people. Possible, I'm not judging. I'm not judging it off what happened. Yeah, I'm just yeah, saying I mean, that was. I'm, not, my, I'm just saying it's yeah, just no. for, for the benefit of the people watching at home, Dimmy. Obviously, now it looks like Dimmy is right 100 percent because this has gone the absolute worst. Like one in a hundred fail state has happened, and it looks horrific. <laughs> uh, but the, you know, this wasn't guaranteed to happen by doing that, was it? So it's. I mean, we've all played Blood Bowl. It is guaranteed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so there's still a lot of we've elves in this though, backfield. So. <laughs> there's still a lot of elves in this backfield, and he's still got only two turns to get the ball forwards. It's still possible that the elves do stop them. But yes, what I thought looked reasonably likely to be a stop now doesn't. Mm. Um, in the main, Dimmy, you're wrong in that usually backing out of a plan that isn't that unlikely to fail because you've lost the reroll is usually very bad. So usually going ahead with two two pluses, which as I said is still quite likely, is the right answer. But because the fail state was so poor, I, I don't I don't hate Jimmy's answer of one step is is so much less likely to get smashed by the strength five bull that I think you had to do that. But then you see, then you're only a single two plus away from being two nil up. I don't think. Well, I just resisted. like mate, the problem is, is even if he sacks you, the ball is. Yeah, you're right. That the it, is a so good recovery far away from, from the end zone. But that's also a mighty. Uh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. It's a mighty blow tackle hit on my best player. Mm. But then I wouldn't have gone for it with that player, so I wouldn't be quite in that position. Exactly. But, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Right? Yeah, that, yeah, neither neither of us that. would have gone for this player whatsoever. I would. So anyway, it's it was a yeah. wonderfully complicated situation where I think all three of us had good points, mm. and I don't know which of us is right in my heart. <laughs> oh, the dicky. He doesn't like the dicky. <laughs> Timmy doesn't like the dicky. <laughs> no, I don't. Like only Michelle gives me the dicky. <laughs> oh, wait, I thought it was you who gave Michelle the dicky. <laughs> no, 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 not so. Not, well, you've been married that long. Yeah, no. That's I say. If you've seen them talking, mate, that's quite obvious. <laughs> but you said you didn't know what pegging, pegging, pegging was in that bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, not since Timmy learned about pegging. Oh, oh, double skulls. <laughs> wow, no reroll for this. No, no reroll for this break tackle, yeah. Mm. Oh, mm. <sighs> I'm really pissed off with Kim. Oh, he's got so, like I said, the elves do have a <gasps> shot. He's double wand. Oh, a GFI well, that wasn't wholly necessary, he's but still in range. It kind of was, Jim, or else yes. these elves are two dying you very easily. Well, that's the thing. It wasn't wholly necessary, right? Like, it wasn't wholly necessary, no. but yes, you always but do it. But with sure feet, you, you put them it, in, yeah. don't you? Yeah, you always do it till you pop sure feet. Of course you do. Oh, fucking scoring threat is the question, Jim. Like, fuck me. Roll the camera down. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's got one. They've all got scoring threats. Yeah, he's got this. He's got this. He's got this elf. That, yeah. He got his elf up. Oh, thank you. There we go. Now, now we can see some relevant. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Do this for you? <laughs> so you, you? Hang on, hang on. You'd have to. I mean, it's uh, it's this very is, difficult to see. Yeah, how this, goes this is really difficult. This is really. And you do also don't want to F up, like, giving him a chance. Is the ball. The ball's still in range, right? With no armor break. The ball is still in range. Um. It can't pick four, it up five. himself. No, the bull can't really. pick it up himself, so something has to throw it to him. There's not really anything in position to do okay, that. Okay, so you've got a free really... attempt at a score. Okay, so, okay. so he picks it up, lobs it to this guy, and I just lobs it straight to this guy. Yeah, he's so you've got to lob it to this blitzer. Right? This yeah, you guy see, that elf is in on the diagonal between the hobgoblin that is the one option to throw it to the bull. Okay. Which is why he went there for as much. Yeah. Because you've got to remove that chorf. Oh, I thought he was going to chain him out. No. That was dumb. No, no, no. If he went one square up, he could have blitzed the... Oh, no, because he hasn't got guard. And he needs to pick yeah. the ball up. Okay. So here we go. A long bomb. Yep. That was a one. What a surprise. 
So if he'd caught that, he could have then handed it off to the other elf, who could have then dodged in for the to for the touchdown. And now we just see Andre oh, do almost. one grind with murder. Well, no, like I said, there is a hobgoblin that can get to this ball, but there's now two elves directly between it and the ball, which well, is you, a problem. You, no, I'm talking about the next half. I don't think Andre scoring, but like, do you just run away and hide if you're Kimroff and wait for overtime? Could do. He's got sidestep, uh, Team Antilla. He could just bench his. He could just bench his one turner and uh, just you know lie down. He could bench his one turner and something else and just lie down on defense. And right, <laughs> yeah, this can be done, Jim. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Like uh, as long as Andre doesn't score here, like just fuck off the second half. Yep, defensive. And wait, 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 and wait for overtime. Yeah, and one that's turn what, chance. That's what I would do. Right. So the bull needs to hit the strength four and just push it and then break tackle and dodge in and then you've got a route. There's yeah. two dodges for the hobgob, yeah. but it's it's very possible. I, he needed to clear a chorf and cancel the... Yeah, this is actually pretty doable. Yeah, good point. And good cancel point. the one up by the bull, but he doesn't seem to have prioritised that. I'm not sure he knows this, it. He? he shouldn't have punched no. that. No. Well, he's yeah. probably... I don't think he's seen the play. I mean, this is hard because he's, now he's got to uphill. He's got to uphill this guy, hasn't he? Yes, which there were ways of putting an assist either on it or on the other one to make it a one die. Only needing yeah. a push. Yeah. But it's still an uphill, only needing a push. That's still not the end of the world. No, he's still. I mean, he's got to do it now. Like it, whether, whether he's seen it, which he probably hasn't, so he probably won't do it. But he probably. Well, he, he has he freed has that hob job. But it's also a dirty player. Does he just want to kick something in the face? Yeah, There's a yeah. long bench on the elves and no casualty yet, so I don't see much much EV in that. Mm. Wow, just fucking around. <laughs> Flip me. <laughs> oh, that was very unlucky. I needed a two there. Yeah. Sorry, Jim. I'm I'm handling it. <laughs> This is. I don't think he saw it, Jim. No, it it wasn't that long a, a shot, was it? No, I didn't see it. That was a really good spot, PC. Well done. Yeah, really good spot there. And not dropping the DP when, again, not a lot of injuries. Both have bench. I'm really surprised not to see a foul come in there, Jimmy. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you don't, if you don't see that, really nice play. Then at least, yeah, at least kick someone's face off. I guess the thing is, like, who can he foul, right? Like, well, and his dirty player has block and guard as well. Yeah, so oh, it's yeah, got to yeah. The point okay. Does he really want to drop the foul with it if he's yeah. not, you know, got either multiple assists or a bribe on board? Yeah, and that's more a cosmetic DP now, isn't it? Actually, it is. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It, it's more about his past than his future. Yeah. Yes, uh, good day, Nick. This is the second round of thirty-two match. Uh, we've already had Rick Reckless versus Sadlad. And now this is Andre versus Kinroth. Glorious. Oh dear. Yeah, that was that was really nice. Oh, really nice. Forget the uh, dirty player thing. Yeah, Kinroth's team name is it's horrendous. <laughs> So Kimroth did, I thought, a really good job there. I liked his whiz use. Thought that was really creative, the end of turn whiz. I just think, as he had won the second reroll, he needed a couple of those elves to be one square further advanced. Yeah. And that would have really changed how dangerous that hole looked. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and funny enough, Gedenik in chat is defence being used by Kinroth, and he said uh, very wise words about uh, you know a two turn, um, a two turn attempt. And he wasn't scoring enough two turns, and you know he was ending up with too much to do on the second turn, and so the solution is to take more risks on the first turn, and yeah. and that's the thing, right? Like all those GFIs, if if that catcher had made two GFIs last turn, or like or one, yeah, two GFIs last turn, he wouldn't have had a GFI at all to get in the end zone, and then if nope. that if one of those blitzers had made two GFIs, he would have made no needed no GFIs to get well one GFI even, he would have made no GFIs to pick up the ball, so then that score would have been a totally easy two. Two plus two plus two plus, uh, and he would have scored it, and he would have made it. Then if he, if he, if he, you know, you would have definitely seen it if he was no GFIs to get in the end zone and no GFIs yeah, to pick it up. 
So Absolute. yeah, if, if he'd rolled a few more dice uh, with the GFIs, and obviously he might have double wand, but you know, it, it, it would have made the the subsequent turn a lot more dangerous. So yeah, very interesting. Uh, super interesting. He, he, he should have just bolted the werewolf, honestly. <laughs> and it's something I think you get. I mean, you can get it from all sorts of types of play, but you get it, I think, most easily as a learned lesson from NAV play, where that risk profile for that turn has to change because of what either needs to get done or would be really useful to get done. And you just think, okay, well, you know, we we need to get there and there. So even if the rerolls have gone, what's the what's the least worrying way I can still do that? Although, as Dibby says, sometimes there are times the reroll goes, you just think, okay, now I pile out of that plan. Well, just too like, often, it doesn't too matter. Often I see that and it really hurts people. It doesn't matter if he sacks you down there because, like, he can pick it up down there, but he's still down there. Like, that's the thing. Like, and then yeah. you can I sack mean, both, him back. Both the re recovery and the fail state just give you a point there, Dimmy. But normally, as I said, I would resist it because. Yeah. Well, it's funny because that's the Dio thing, isn't it? He never really cares about getting sacked if he can get it back. And yeah, that was a yeah. good point that, okay, he yeah, wouldn't yeah. get it back because the ball would be in a strength for Hobgoblin. Um, but you know, like it. He would oh, that whole problem would be four million miles away from the end zone, like. Right? Yes, but he'd be next yes. to. And both, you. and both his ball centaurs would, whereas no, his ball centaurs would be right there with him. Or so. well, one of yeah. them would have had to sack it. Yes, the elves, be, like, you're not blitzing with the balls. You're not blitzing with the hobo because. Yeah, so, if, the, so he'd have one next to him, wouldn't he? He'd have one next. He couldn't. But then that's one. only then a, then that's hit, only Tim. one scoring threat to take out, rather than three or two or whatever. And, like. You know, and hence another point for Dimmy Jimmy that from where you could sidestep, it would surely leave the bull on the edge if you exactly. had done the one step plan that you liked or Dimmy's plan. Well, he wouldn't follow. Sorry, if you'd done Dimmy's plan, he wouldn't follow, would you? No, so he'd be trapped on the edge under your other elf. At which point you could uphill surf him. So well, there's the lots of factors in there. He'd go in the top way, wouldn't he? He wouldn't be on the edge. He was... he? He'd have to be on the edge because he was picking Yeah, he would up. have had to break tackle in, yeah. Otherwise, oh, it'd be yeah. two break tackles. Yeah, he would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So, this is, this, so that's I'm a point in Dimmy's favour. There's just all sorts of little points in, in just favour of all three of those ideas. Um, yeah. But anyway, we've moved on from there. I was yes, talking about have. the previous turn. I was talking about the turn before. <laughs> that was the thing. I don't know why it got back onto there again, for fuck's sake. Um, I was Dimmy's talking about the previous there. turn. Yeah. That, that that catcher could have made the GFIs the previous turn, right? And then you're splitting. Yeah. Because the, the, there were there were, there were five two pluses or whatever that had to be. A hundred percent. hundred percent. So, they, so they all went at least them. one square too, too short. Yeah, yeah. If, if you'd split them across the two turns, you're much more likely to get them done. And certainly until the... Um, re-roll had gone and particularly as he didn't mind stopping people mid the dodges rather than trusting to using a re-roll to get the rest of the dodges done then you've got to push some of those go for it yeah, yeah I think still, he is still 1-0 up two. after the half isn't he yeah. which is a good place to be he yeah. suffered no damage at all which is a great place to be he's benched yeah. his one turner in confidence yep yeah. and he's got a couple of catches in the backfield so he's got you know, yeah. he's got a threat if things go on here there's only two stand firmers on the troughs. Yep. I mean, it's still going to be a completely <laughs> horrible one turn. Yep. But it is a one turn. Yep. And he's like, he's moved nine with sprint, so he only needs one push. So it's, you know, it's pretty good, isn't it? It will be a horrible one turn. And of course, it will be facing a back line or a NAF defense against it. But what won't be is the start of overtime. You can't backline in the start of overtime. You can't even NAF defence in the start of overtime. Mm. Or they do an incredibly easy two turn. Yeah. Hey, yeah. So the one turn you, of my have have a Chevron, huge amount yeah. of value later. Yeah. Yes, you have to Chevron. I should probably Chevron with the bulls on the outside. Because even then there's a strength for elf that can just one die push the weaker one out of the way. And they can still stream down an edge. Mm. I'm really disappointed with this Palmer. <laughs> Oh, I would have piled on that KO. <laughs> Just for your fantasy team. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> for my fantasy team. I mean, for the position he's on, it wouldn't have been the worst thing to do. But the fact that you've got no attrition yet on the elves means I'd much rather have one removed for the drive than try and remove one from the team roster. This is quite an easy turn for Kim Roth, though, isn't it? You just pull back and sit in yeah. front of them. Yeah. Yeah. And you, well, interestingly, he hasn't used his strength four to blitz. I would have blitzed with the strength four, but 
Perhaps he's going to backfield blitz a hobgob. Yeah, I quite like the Shen 4 blitz. Yeah, yeah. so this is a really good guy to hit, yeah. To be fair, this is a really good guy to hit. But yeah, if you blitz there, if you blitz this guy, then you can get him out on a 2 plus, can't you? Which is pretty decent. But you can also just leave him dead lying down. It's not terrible. Yeah, we're, so, yeah, we're blitzing that hobgob. That's nice, yeah. Yeah, much more likely to get some change out of 87. Really nice. I love the way he has that massive paw on his right hand and he throws a left hook. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, look at my big hand. Boom! <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> yeah, should do like a cartoon wind up, shouldn't he, in the animation and then. And then jab him with the other. Mate, that's street fight tactics, that is. You shove <laughs> right and fucking hit him with the left as hard as you can. <laughs> and then you do a 50 yard dash and run away. <laughs> Which of the characters in Street Fighter was that again? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, he Honda's mine, the 100 hand slap. <laughs> <laughs> He was the um, the sumo looking. Yeah, guy. yeah, the sumo fat guy. Yeah. And what did uh, what did Eddie Honda look like? E Honda, he was the sumo fat guy. Uh, oh, you talking about me? You, are you calling me fat again, PC? No. <laughs> I'm gonna carry no, you. Saying, I'm gonna like? carry was you. He... I'm gonna carry you to UKT's champion. Well, you are a big strong yeah. fella. I'm sure you could, but we should probably go up on a train or a car. <laughs> we, we... <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna win next year. We're certainly going to try, Dimmy. We need to get Hancock back um, in Blood Bowl. That's the problem. And we need to stop Necronome taking Ogres because he's a retard. Uh, <laughs> not, Don't sorry. say that. He's a. Uh, he's That's a <laughs> bad word, Dimmy. Yeah, he's a interesting bloke. He will definitely take him as well. You need, you need to, you need to stop him. You literally need to stop him. Just say you're not on the team if you're taking fucking ogres. Honestly, I'm I think I it's funny because I wanted to stop Rick taking ogres, you know, for Blood Bowl Super League. And then he won. He, won then it. he, he didn't he win it with yeah. ogres, but he did really well with ogres. He, he won his group, I think, didn't he? I think he won his group with ogres. Isn't he the first guy to qualify for Blitz Pit with ogres? Yeah, he did. It, yeah. yeah, it was a very yeah. nice set for them. Yeah, it um, was. It was overly nice. Yeah. Yeah, but still, yeah. even no matter how good the rule set is for August. Oh, he did incredible. <laughs> yeah, I'm never taking them, it's, no matter how good the rule set is. It, it, yeah, I have this it. minor curse where when I do things reasonable with Stunty, someone else does something better. <laughs> so, Rick qualified those Ogres, the same qualification oh. I got Goblins to round four to the final against Saz. <laughs> uh, and really nearly took those Undead to overtime where I'd have massively outnumbered them. I mean, it was like a, a needed to roll a four and I rolled a three. It was one of those. Um, and that was a great run. And then Rick's qualified with Ogres. And everyone's like, yeah, well done, PC, but Rick's qualified with Ogres. <laughs> yeah. And about a year before, I, I took Goblins to a tabletop and got two wins, two draws, and no losses. I thought, yay, I'm going to win the Stunty Cup. But Halfling's got three wins and a draw and no losses and won not only the full competition, but the Stunty Cup as well. Oh, that's disgusting. And then they decided that it's, they shouldn't really have given them both. So from now on, mm -hmm. uh, if that happens, they'll only get the win and that the Stunty Cup will go to the next highest Stunty. Mm. So if that happened now, I would have a Stunty Cup. I don't think... Don't. I don't and I'm think, fine with it. I don't think Halflings can be considered Stunty if they have Puggy. <laughs> yeah, he's Puggy's OP, isn't he? Yeah, like honestly, if, if, if Halflings have Puggy... They need to be considered a normal race. Yeah. And, and well, they more need... to the point, if they have Morg, they certainly blooming should be. Yes. Yes. And no, probably no, if they is, have yeah. Griff as well. Yeah. No, only only Morg and Puggy. <laughs> is this going to be a a cage where I think it is, and then a foul on that? Yeah. Why not? Right. I'm going to just get a cup of tea. Uh, I would have put a ball. I I, I would have put the ball carrier assist in there, and I would have fouled with a rookie hobo. Ball carrier I mean, it, it's, goes... it's fine because that it's a strength four ball carrier, and so that elf can very easily get onto the ball. But okay, he's not fouling. Yeah, he's not fouling. He's not fouling. No, he's not fouling it. 
but still, you can cancel that hobgoblin at the rear very easily, and then it's a a four plus, which with a reroll is seventy five percent to get on the ball. The problem is the ball carrier's strength four. Yeah, so, so right. getting there is no bloody use unless you've got wrestle. Yeah, and his wrestle catch has just KO'd himself on a failed dodge. Yeah. He's got another wrestle piece out in front of the cage, but it can't get there. Honestly, mate, I, 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 I'd just run away and wait for overtime. Like, I'd be done with this half. I'm like, yeah. I, I would blitz something with the strength four. Yeah, exactly. The strength uh, four can still do that, and you can still... Cause it, it... Yeah, and then I'd run all the other guys away and hope I win the overtime toss. I mean, you can still hold them up a bit. While the ball's on the Hobgoblin, it's still got a ways to go to be in range. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is the this is the big debate. Is like, when do you run away? I didn't, Steve Motti. That's the point. They gave the Stunty Cup to the guy that won it, as well as the, the victory for the whole tournament. Uh, let's be real, PC. The high elves are not stopping this score. I don't agree. You think the high elves? Look, look how many high elves are now back in front of this ball. Yeah, and then he just palms the wrestle, bases everyone, and he's and then got what? seven. There's only one more dodge needs to happen, and then he's got eight in a, a lovely set of elf curtains. Look, he has draped those elf curtains in front of him. Yeah. The ball. Okay. So now I'm smashing the catcher on the right with the uh, with the ball center with tackle mighty blow. Yeah, and moving and then, a couple of ball centaurs into the backfield so he's yeah, going to yeah, yeah. the cage rolling forward. And then rolling uh, the cage up into the face of a couple of elves. But or it's still you not could just run ball. away and not get smashed with mighty blow tackle. Yeah, I still think the elves can win it in this. Yeah, but I reckon they got more chance of winning in overtime if they got 11 players and they win the toss. Dibby, they've already got a bench of two and only two KOs. There's no damage yet. They've still got an apothecary. They've got a babe. So the ones that are KO'd, like I said, they're back on a three plus. Okay. And they'll get two rolls at that if the Chaos Dwarves do but score. He's, he's let him hit the catcher, which is yes, a big no-no. It's, no. It's no, it's one of your pieces. It's fine. It's three dice in the catcher with tackle mighty blow. It's fine. It's job this turn is to take a hit right there. Because right, look, no, where he's put the rest of the pieces is going to make it difficult for him to get around the outside of it and actually use all that space he's just found. So the Chorfs aren't going very far forwards this turn. Well, they don't need fight. to. They've got another three turns after this. Oh, you're the voice of doom. I am. Right, so this is good. He's putting some pressure on these elves. Because you need to suck the re-rolls, try and get the fails, as well as create space to move forwards. You need a wide front. You can't get tucked up on one side of the field. There's easily enough elves to stop you if you do. And yet you've still got to protect your ball because there's at least one elf in... Well, you don't really. It's strength four. You can hang your ball. Yeah, out scoring, the scoring definitely isn't a certainty, but it's more than likely. Dimmy, they've moved one square forward in a turn, and there's only three more after this. I mean, you're, you're right. It's still, you know, he's got a good shot at scoring, but I think the elves have also got a good shot at stopping them. Feels he needs to lay the foul in on that near rookie catcher. Gets a stun. That's very, very useful. Not enough elves to really double wall, you know, double line all the way across the field now with only seven. Probably this one has to come back. No, nope, just tags a chorf. Okay. I don't know about the tag there. That dwarf is doing nothing. Oh no, he's gonna use he's gonna use a lovely angle, strength four hit to move both these chorfs off those two elves he's just put in place in front of them. Oh right, I see. Which the will chain free there. up the second one to come back and form a better wall. Yeah, this is a real nice turn, this wasn't it? Okay. Not so good uh, not getting the pal. Not good at all not getting the pal. Because if he'd got the pal, he could have robbed the other elf out as well as the strength four. But now it's a slightly weak front, isn't it? Yeah, he's just got to dodge, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. yeah sad. sad having to dodge there. But now, yes, and okay, so now you can't come through the strength four. Yeah, you see what I mean, Dimmy? Not as easy as I, like I said, not as easy as it looked. Three turns left. Nice. All he has to do, all he has to do is like Nothing power, in range yet. No, power one of these guys, hand off to the break tackle ball and break tackle through the screen. Like, 
Like, I know it's not easy. I know it's a bull's not in range problem. yet. Yeah, mm. just well, yeah, it will be in range soon. Okay, we'll see. I, I'm sure you're right. I'm not. I'm not right, and I know I'm not right, but I I want to keep arguing it. <laughs> <laughs> God, there's, there's no guarantee I'm going to be right. There's a good chance that the cows dwarves stop this. Oh, he's opened up the palm on the the. Oh, he followed. Why f follow? I like the pom on the shrimp four there. I think he's trying to create space up between. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't follow. I wouldn't right. follow. I'd bring the ball round. Yeah, but if you don't follow, then then how on earth do you get like you can what you can bring, bring the ball, the ball round? I bring the ball round. I bring the ball round and pom. And then this guy would would tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bring the ball round and, and pom. And then what? A hobgoblin would go there as well. And then how do you get the extra assist? Like it's really hard to get the assists on him. It's not that hard. He's man. doing it anyway. He is pommy. No, you, you you get the ball. You get the assist with the strength ball that he took all the way over. But then that's worse. Then no, nah, that's worse. This is better. Just do the GFI. Honestly, yeah, just do a GFI. GFI. So it's but... one GFI. No, no, no. I like, I like. Tagging and again, the... he doesn't even need this ball to secure the ball because the ball's on strength four. That elf at the back can do fuck all to it. Yeah. yeah well, this is, this is why I'm saying that the strength five ball should be up and right. So upright diagonal and one more to the right. I don't like that we haven't moved that whole goal. And then you yet. don't follow and you pom. I want to pom the shrimp four. He's like, pommed it anywhere, Dimmy. That's the whole point. It's just a GFI doing it his way. He's pommed right. it anywhere. Well, he doesn't Same time, it, seizing some been... space more yeah, aggressively on better. the left this side of the field. Better. It's cost him so a GFI, much better, but it's way better, yeah. But obviously it was way worse, one in 36 times. Well, that ball that you wanted in range is now in range. Why are you even range? hovering, defending? It's uh, not happening. <laughs> it's not happening, bro. <laughs> like, just let him score. Fuck it. And run everyone away. If you win the toss, you've got a 50-50% chance of winning. I mean, there's no point running away now because you've, you've, no. you've defended it all well, the yeah, time. And you've only because you've used your Rappo and there's a dirty player right next to your stun shirt four again, on the fucking floor. You've still got your apothecary. You've got a babe. You've only got no, two he hasn't. Pairs. He hasn't. He's, he's just used the Apo. He's just used the Apo. Right. So the Apo, no, why are you bothered defending? You had an Apo. You have a babe. You've only got two KOs. You're going to get two rolls on them if they score. There's a good chance that they come back. You've got a bench of two. There was no harm in defending. There still isn't. It's still now. He, now he what, has did, did to he defend. Did he this? Did he apple? Was this a KO that he appled? Yeah, yeah. Well, I yeah, just yeah. think that's a terrible decision. Then I don't think that's. I don't yeah, think with, two, now with, with a babe fouled. and two rolls on it. I think that's bad. Yeah. yeah so he's, he's going. Decision. He's going to one one, and now he has to defend the strength four because he's going to get fouled if he doesn't defend it. He's not so. fouling him with a. No. I, don't think. I guess he can foul him with a rookie. Mm. He's got a DP there, isn't he? Yeah, but the yes, DP but is we, also blocking guard. Block guard, and he's refused fouling with it in a time where, because he had bench, it would have been a very logical time to throw a quick foul and see if he got lucky. So I'm still not sure he's doing it. Oh, I can't believe he's not. All right, Dimmy's right. The Chaos Dwarves are going to score because he's not defending this very well. Mm. You I need to put two elves had... on the strength five, don't you? I think he had to not have all this. I think that's the biggest thing. Yes. I absolutely agree. Yeah, if you say that, if he's not going to foul, then I like the Apo more. But but he's back eight times out on nine anyway for overtime, and you don't, yeah. you don't need him for the one turn because you've got two bench. So no, you you do need him for the one turn because he's going to blitz the sideline when he does chevrons for the one turn. No, well, in, in overtime it's going to be chevrons. Yeah, right? but in overtime you're getting him back eight times out of nine. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah, but you don't get him back that one time. But you get, yeah, but you get him back eight times out of nine. That's very true, Dimmy. You don't. Like, give yeah. us an apple for a four plus, fair enough. But when it's an apple for well, now, eight he, out of now nine, he's it's he's guaranteed yeah. to come back now. Like, Dimmy's you know, dream yes, has come true. There is a bull in range, but he can't score on fifteen and leave the elves too, can he? No, he can't. No, he can't. No, no. no so no, here, no. how do you get forward to the point where you can score next turn and yet not be at risk? Yeah, this guy. Yeah, it has to be, doesn't it? This fucking guy, yeah. And swap back to the other side, because that's yeah. where your chorfs are, and your bulls are quick. Yeah, I think that's maybe an overcommit. Uh, this this GFI yeah. that he did was maybe an overcommit. Could have just had him back there. Yeah, where he was. that's the way he's going. Very smart decision. It's exactly where I'd want to be. Yeah, it's quite easy. I wonder, I wonder if I wonder how bad that was, right? Because it was a GFI, I think, wasn't it, to, for him to get from there to there? 
and it's probably worse because like you know now it's in now it's uh you know an extra move to get back around. well the, the point was that he was never going to hand off to the bull and score with the bull on turn 15 because we start handing off to the bull is a one in four of just failing and losing the game yeah and then if you score you've given high elves with lots of catchers two turns mm -hmm. which seems a little foolish so I, I just didn't know why we were defending quite as hard as we were pretending to. Yeah, why fucking bother? We needed to be... Not that, Dimmy. We needed to be in a position to defend the next turn, not on that turn. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know, so I, know anti, <laughs> I know it's anti... I know it's anti-blood bowl, and I know it's negative. But why the fuck does he bother this half at all? It's, it's not that, Dimmy, because if you can win in this half, then you're going to suffer even yeah, less exactly. attrition. There was never a point where... It was right to tap out, you know. Like yes. if 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 Andre had pulled a, a Rick and like just made first blocks a Kaz, second block he makes a Kaz, then you then you lie down and pull out. But, but yep. when he's just doing nothing to you, then you're going to carry on standing in his way. It doesn't make sense to not right because you've you got a good solid wall of elves. Time. You had at the time your Apo. You've got a babe. You've got elves on the bench. You've got no injuries on the team so far. Absolutely no reason not to defend. Hmm. Mm. But yes, you're constantly thinking, does this continue to make sense? I don't think it does. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, and I know point, it's anti-Blood Bowl. I know it's anti-Blood Bowl, but I just don't think it does make sense. At this point, I think you're pot committed and you may as well at least try and get something on the board yeah, and see what happens. Yeah, it's one more turn, right? Now, right yeah. now you have to keep going. Well, now he has to triple base. Uh, and now he's going to lose players. He's gonna, oh, no. Yeah, I don't know why we dodged off there, but oh well. Yeah, he should have triple based. I mean, he would have snaked whatever he did, but he probably should have triple based. Yeah, he wanted to get this guy in. I mean, yeah, he's going to fail whatever happens. So. And then now it's just a case of how many hits does he want to take with no app over right? All of them. Yeah, yeah. and I think yeah. he will. Absolutely all of them. But there's only one claw. They've mostly got AV8. It should probably be all right. Yep. Where's the one turner? On the a bench. The bench. It's been sat there for the entire of the second. What's half. he need? What's he need? So there's two stand firm. Needs one. Hey, what? Did you, did you put the stat two stand firms and the shrimp five ball on the line? Maybe. That um, probably, that probably solves that issue. Two stand firms and a standard NAF defense will pretty much solve it, but yet yeah, it's very hard to see how he'd get a push on the ball. Easy. Well, I don't know why he defended that at all. Exactly, is my point. <laughs> he could have just fucking run away and skipped turns. Yeah, he could have done it then. The one KO he had might be, you know, <laughs> might not be KO'd now. So, yeah, he did suffer a lot of attrition by defending there, Dimmy, didn't he? Well, he'd still have an Apo. And... He could have still had an Apo. He just, he, that was just, he blew the Apo. That was, that was a crazy blowing of an Apo that, I, was a mad... that we all heard, so. I know what you're saying, fuck. Like, I, I am listening to PC. I, I can understand. PC. I'm, Look, not I'm, I'm, I'm not saying you don't, you don't have a point. Jim, I'm not a firstly, moron. You are right in that my natural instinct is I prefer to play Blood Bowl than not play Blood Bowl. Yeah, you I know, think We so. also have Jimmy to balance that, whose natural instinct is to not play Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah. I, I disagree with that, but, uh, well, we obviously in different senses of the word. When he is playing Blood Bowl, he doesn't necessarily not want to play Blood Bowl. <laughs> no, he always wants to not play Blood Bowl. But if you... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay. This is a really bad example. But, yeah. like... <laughs> but you're going to give it anyway. Uh, no, no. I just think that, uh, like, Kimov could have literally stood in his own end zone and waited for the half, and it would be the same result. Well, it yes, would have done it, now. it actually yeah. would as now, yes. But, <laughs> well, for a start, it may not have been, because the Dwarves would have secured the ball up into a scorable position a lot earlier and then sent a kill squad out after the elves. Yeah. So you yeah. might have found you're actually in a bigger trouble. Yeah. But then you got the shrimp four, you got the shrimp four to just blitz and chip. Which is what he tried to do and didn't chip. But the 
Chaos Dwarves, had they been in a position by, say, turn 5, where the stall and the score is fine, and then you can send a kill squad of four after the elves and try and, you know, actively get some pieces. Wait, all I'm saying, PC... Which he was so busy fighting his way through the lines, he never had a chance to do. All, all I'm saying, PC, is if you have a dwarf team that resembles anything like this, and I have an elf team, and I'm one one at half-time, I'm running the fuck out of the way and letting you score. Next. I, I That's don't what I want to do. So and I will stall up in three or four opinion, turns and then the I will go and kill some elves. Yeah, no, unless, I'll find that unless I get... Actually having to constantly look for position every time. Unless I get an outrageous like kickoff event where well, I can just... When we've played, you always have, so that would seem like... <laughs> this defence yeah. seems crap, Enzo. How is this defence crap? He's not even trying it. <laughs> he's not even trying the one turn. No, he's setting up for Riot, isn't he? Yeah, he's setting up for Riot, yeah. Um... I think it seems fine. I, yeah. if I would, if K Fog looked at this, he'd tell you there's lots of easy ways. But then he'd oh, have yeah, all sorts snap, of gutter yeah, runners yeah. to fill the holes. Oh yeah, the quick snap. Yeah, yeah, the quick snap. Yeah. Yeah, quick snap or riot, both do it. But this is definitely a riot uh, setup. Hmm. There's just no way to get the push on that pull. It's guaranteed Ooh, riot. I'm blitz back. How do you feel? Who do you fill? Who do you blitz back? There's two stun firms. <laughs> oh, you mean so you fill these five squares and then. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got sidestep. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So you go in there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then there, and then there, and then. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, it's crap, yeah, it's crap, yeah. Yeah, you're right, it's crap. You only need one push. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yes. Yeah, it's, it's only crap, because he's yeah. got. I mean, I tried something not dissimilar against Kofo one time, um, which was actually better, I have to say. Um, but it's because he's got so many L's that this is going to be distressingly easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually crap. Yeah. Yep. It's and he's blatantly going to roll. <laughs> he's blatantly going to roll a one in nine. Yep. It was actually a crap defense. Unbelievable. Good. Yeah, he's got it already. Yeah. Just needs this one elf in there, one more, and it's fine. All done. Needs a sink, needs a, a power or push. Yep, gets it. This is fucking, yeah, this is really shit. Yep. I kind of hope Andre gets punished for this, to be honest. But... Yep. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's super okay. easy. No, Barely an inconvenience. Well, he is about to be punished for it, didn't he? Cause... Well, this Ooh, is, this is. Maybe not. Or possibly not. Another two two pluses. Should he stop, Demi, or should he go for it? <laughs> I would stop. I would stop. <laughs> <laughs> but like, this is another example of just lie down and let fucking Andre score. No, it's not. It's an example of he. He no. No. <laughs> no. 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 No, because he didn't know that Andre was going to set up in a terrible one-turn defense. Yeah. It's that experimental. It's fucking it horrific. One I'm going to troll Andre. Is he streaming? Like, I, I want to get in his channel and give him some shit. Mm. What the fuck was that? Yeah, maybe he missed oh. the sort of sidestep on the on the, on the it was a creative right? attempt. At maybe he's never played elves before in his life, and that's why he's got trouble with it. Yeah, yeah. This, to be fair, the sidestep's just so powerful, isn't it? That's the thing. It is. It is. And of course, that is the face of, of one turning in 2020 Blood Bowl because you can't move more than nine. Mm. So even if you put. I mean, sorry, together. sorry. The reason I'm so annoyed is because I had Andre's claw pommer <laughs> and his ball carrier and they earned me no points this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Oh dear, fucking around about to get banned by Dimmy. Right. Um, commiserations to Andre. Congratulations to Kinroth. Glorious high elf victory without without even a Dakar. Yeah, I thought Kinroth played very very well. Yep, and uh, thank you very much, Dimmy and PC. Absolutely glorious to have you guys. Pleasure. In both. Let's not say Andre didn't, uh, apart from the experimental one turn defense, which I did something not dissimilar against Kefo, and he um, he had to dodge to the inside to really get the angle on mine. But um, similarly, it is undoable if they have enough numbers, and if the kick lands in the right place, which for both of those it did. Uh, but a very well played game of Blood Bowl, that. Yep, Strange really nice. lack of injuries, wasn't there? Yeah, really, really, uh, 
yeah, I guess you've got to say the dice favoured Kinroth because 45 yeah. bucks yeah. and uh, only made five KOs. That is uh, that is yeah. very very. But I guess he had a lot of he had a lot of rookie uh, he had a lot of rookie chaffs, didn't he? he? Had like three rookie chaffs. I think only one of the bulls had mighty blow tackle. Yeah, I mean it was two beautiful bulls, but it wasn't the most aggressive chaff team you've ever seen. Yeah, uh, and he wasn't putting those fouls in, was he? Which slightly surprised me. Yeah, I mean uh, to the point where. If you're not fouling with it, I mean, perhaps cycle it out of the team, perhaps sack it, and bring through less TV heavy, you know, hobgobs. You don't mind just throwing into fouling things and getting killed. Yeah, difficult, isn't it? it it's. Yeah. <laughs> and I've said uh, it before. It's so tempting uh, to keep a, a good hobgob around for helping with everything else in the team. Perhaps do a proper one turn defence, PC. Perhaps. Yes, perhaps that, that is yeah, certainly what, what he should have done. Not, not, not a gym one turn defence. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or, an, yeah. or an Andre yeah. one turn defence. Yeah. Perhaps, the, perhaps the proper one turn defence. Yeah. Right. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>